I have been involved in uh, compiling a database of Chinese companies, and Chinese projects in Africa. Um, most of these companies um, have been in Africa for a few years at least and have been involved in many large-scale enterprises and projects. Altogether, we've now accumulated uh, descriptive statistics about workforce localization for perhaps about more than 600 such enterprises and projects. And these involve virtually every African country. Our findings are that, uh, on average, more than 80% of the workforces of Chinese companies or Chinese-run projects in Africa are local people. And that percentage um, has increased uh, over the course of the years in companies which have been in Africa for some years. That is, the longer they are there, uh, the higher the percentage of locals tends to be. We found that it doesn't really matter whether the enterprises are state-owned enterprises from China or privately run enterprises from China. They tend to localize their workforces. And it doesn't really matter what sector they're in as well. That is, um, if they are in construction, or they're in manufacturing, or they're in banking, uh, they pretty much all have a very significant percentage of their workforce drawn from local people. Again, on average, around 80%. Chinese companies uh, originally, I think, when they came, hope to be able to acquire large numbers of already trained personnel. but. Um, that's very difficult in the African circumstance. Even the most advanced uh, industrial countries in Africa, like South Africa, have huge shortages of trained personnel. For example, South Africa, a country of 48 million people, only has about 35,000 engineers in the whole country. So needless to say, uh, there are shortages which can only be made up through training. And increasingly, Chinese companies, particularly the larger ones, have set up training programs for their employees. For example, the uh, Standard Gauge Railway, which is being built by uh, two large Chinese state-owned construction companies in Kenya, uh, an ongoing project which just began last year and which will continue until the end of 2017, and involves or will involve about 30,000 uh, workers. Um, a significant percentage of them will have to be trained and are being trained by the Chinese companies involved. So they're being trained to be electricians, they're being trained to be steel benders, uh, they're being trained uh, to do bookkeeping, whatever the, the skill that's needed. Um, and these are, of course, local Kenyans because the project is initially um, going to be carried out in Kenya and then later on extended to several neighboring countries.